Hi, my name is Lauren and I work at the Texas Water Development Board where my job is to help build and maintain a system of weather stations that are scattered all across the state. These stations are taking real-time data on things like barometric pressure, rainfall, temperature, and wind speed and wind direction, as well as a bunch of other variables. Uh, we do this work so that Texans, like yourself, can always know what's going on in their area when you visit texmesonet.org. Now, you don't always need a team of meteorologists or a bunch of fancy equipment to know what's going on in your own backyard. You can actually take some household items that you may already have and make some of these things yourself. So that's what we're gonna do today. Let's go ahead and start off with our wind vane, which is gonna tell us which direction that the wind is coming from. So for this project, you're gonna need two paper plates, some rocks or marbles, something to hold down the plate. The plate. Um, you'll need glue, a pin, markers, a pencil with the better part of an eraser left on it, a plastic straw, scissors, and some note cards or some kind of heavy duty paper. Now to get started, we are going to take our first plate and draw a compass rose on it using your markers. I went ahead and did that off camera, so that's ready to go. And then we're gonna take our second plate and if you haven't already, go ahead and put your rocks or marbles or whatever in there to weigh it down. And all we're gonna do is glue our compass plate on top of our weighted plate. Ooh, and actually, before I put this plate on top, I'm gonna take my scissors and make a small hole in the middle of my compass rose. Because our pencil is gonna go through there in the end, so that's just gonna help us get started. All right, I'm gonna put our plate, our compass plate on top and set that aside to dry just for a second. In the meantime, I'm gonna take my straw and my scissors and just cut two small slits at one end, right across from each other. All right, that's done. And I'm gonna take my paper and cut a small triangle out of it. What we're making right now is the pointer for our weather vane, or a wind vane, sorry. There we go. All right, I'm gonna take my glue, and I'm just gonna put a small dab right on the inside where those slits are. Not too much. Take my triangle and I'm just going to insert it into those little slits that I made. There we go. And that is our pointer for our wind vane. All right, that's ready to go. I'm gonna go back to my plates. Probably hasn't dried perfectly yet, but we'll, we'll use it. I'm gonna take my pencil and with the eraser end up, I'm going to stick the bottom into the plate. And kind of fiddle with this for a little bit just to try to get it straight. That looks pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna take my straw again. And I'm actually gonna be using two pins for this part. I'm gonna make some small holes in here so that our uh, pointer is going to just sit on top of the eraser like this. The first pin I'm using is a little bit thicker. And then the second one is gonna be thinner because, oh, I'm gonna go a little bit farther down. Because I want the straw to move freely on top of the eraser. I don't want it to get stuck or anything. All right, here's my smaller pin and I'm gonna stick it through the straw and just straight into the eraser. All right, there we go. And you just wanna make sure that your spinner or your pointer spins freely. And you can see right now that the wind is actually moving the pointer on its own already. And we have it, make sure that yours is facing north when you place it outside. So that your north, I mean, is facing north. Um, and so right now we can see that our wind is traveling 
we're gonna call this southwest, or it's not traveling southwest, sorry, it's actually coming from the southwest, which is important to note, when we talk about wind, we wanna talk about the direction that it's coming from and not the direction that it's moving to. So when you hear somebody say a northerly wind, that's gonna be a cold wind that's actually coming from the north and traveling south. All right, so once this is ready, which it is, go find a place outside to place it, ideally without too much covering it, like buildings or trees, but just find the best spot that you can. And there we go. We have made our very first instrument, which is a wind vane.